that um, there is, there's in some cases, $4,000 per student, full-time equivalent student variability. And we generally that. think about what happens in the Texas what legislature based on what elected representatives do when they are most program. visible, like working on bills in committee meetings and modifying and passing laws on the floor of the House and the Senate. Much of the important work in the legislature is done by staff. You're only as good as your staff. It's very important to have good staff uh, as far as your legislative and your scheduling and dealing with constituents because your number one job is to make sure your constituents are happy. So you're only as good as your staff is and you have to have very good staff to deal with all of the issues and all the aspects. In turn, permanent staff members rely on an army of interns who work at the Capitol. Many of these interns are college students and most of them are working for free. The experiences of these interns reveal some of the things that must get done for legislators to have a chance to run an efficient operation and to perform the key functions that legislators are supposed to achieve. The members of the legislature spend most of their time during the biennial session working in the legislative process. This means tracking the numerous bills at various stages of the process, especially bills that interest individual representatives and their constituents. During the session, um, a whole lot of bill tracking, like just seeing what's going on with the bills, where they've gotten to, um, emphasis definitely on his own bills. Uh, it was a lot of tracking where his bills were and what the gossip was about them. Before I went into this process, I, I was under the impression that the senators were so much more involved in everything. And even yesterday, um, I had to file a bill. And, you know, I, she, my supervisor just showed me, okay, get on the internet. This is how you file a bill and you submit a request for it. I'm amazed by bills. I just, I was reading through the text of one of them yesterday and I was just like, this is so incredible. Like I would really like to um, learn more about the bill writing process and my supervisor kind of told me I was insane for <laughs> saying that. She's like, nobody wants to ever write bills. What are you talking about? But the bills do get written and usually only after a lot of work by a lot of people. Adrian Macias was an intern for Senator Elliot Shapley. At this position, I learned how the process works, I guess. I learned how you draft a bill, but I learned it doesn't begin just, hey, I have an idea, let's draft a bill. It starts with months of research and, you know, talking to people and just get, talking to all the different pe uh, people involved, different government agencies, different companies that might be affected by legislation. And it takes so much work, I guess, just to get a bill drafted. In addition to writing and trying to pass laws, legislators must also represent the voters who put them in office and who can either keep them there or vote them out. Representation is, of course, a central principle of modern democratic philosophy. In practice, from the view of a legislative office, representation means constituent service, making sure that letters and emails get responses, phone calls get answered, that voters' problems get addressed. Voters who take the trouble to contact their representative about a problem they're having or an issue that's important to them expect a response. Interns are frequently on the front lines of providing these services and they are trained to view the job as critical. You don't always think that you have a lot of control over your representative and I was surprised to see that you do, that every single letter that came through actually got looked at by the representative. Um, there were a few that had to be filtered out that were just complete nonsense, but for the majority of these letters, they would actually pass over his desk and there was nothing that we sent out that didn't have his signature on it personally. Victoria. Johanna Sheffield yeah. talked about answering constituent mail as an intern in Senator Kip Averett's office in the 78th legislature. Not only does it get answered, but there, everything that, that we get, the, um, not only is it image scanned, but we write summaries and assign it to subjects and assign it to bill numbers. And so it's a really, really efficient way to um, judge how the constituents really feel, even though sometimes, you know, you get form letters, so it can obviously be a little bit biased depending on who's more active. But I know like during redistricting, we were overloaded. And I mean, I think that's important just because that's what the senator looks at. And I don't know if all senators do that. And of course, you can't do that with everything because some people, you know, and just the regular population have don't really understand a lot of bills. But um, 
it's also to inform them of what's going on. Are the changes made, like I know with Medicare and Medi like in Medicaid and CHIP, um, we tried to, you know, just tell them that, you know, just tell them what had happened and what they think is going to happen. Or, um, so I think it's important just to keep them informed because most people, I think, write in mad and it's important to make them happy. Our senator does sign every single letter, so I mean he sees every single letter that goes out of the office. Does he kick much back to you guys? Or? Oh, it, it's a blue moon if you ever get a letter that you send to him the first time that he doesn't send back with a bunch of writing on it or scratching out on. Oh yeah, that's a pretty impressive feat if you can do that. He reads them. Oh yeah, every single one, every single letter. Fun, the experience of interns illustrates the wide range of tasks staff members must perform for an office to function effectively. At the end of the day, the practice of representing constituents is accomplished by many people carrying out a myriad of tasks. Staff provides the critical support for elected representatives. Interns wind up filling in many of the necessary details. Sometimes I'd be in the office by myself because we had we had five interns, so you know we were we, we our our boss always tried to have somebody there to deal with you know while he was doing his own work we would kind of deal with people you know coming in and out of the office whoever maybe lobbyist interest groups whatever like that so we would deal with people like that and answer the phones uh, we do mail merges we just, just about anything there's a lot of little nitpicky stuff that goes into politics that I had never really known before. You know, stuff that, it's just like when you write letters to people, you know, you got to make sure grammar is correct, you know, you don't want to send something out and you say, dear Mrs. So-and-so, and you're missing a comma or something. I, think that's important. I mean, yeah, you know, it's, it's just, it's just little stuff that, common sense, basically, you know, it's just, if you have common sense, you, you know, you can go a long way. But the <laughs> details know? are important. But details are very important, very important. I mean, because it's a business. I mean, it's still, I mean, Senator Averett is still, even though he's, you know, he's elected, but a big part of that is pleasing, just like any business would. So if you get somebody who's on the phone completely irate, have no idea what they're talking about, um, it's important to get them, you know, by the time they're done, to be happy and think that you really helped them out and, you know, that you'll call them back or call us back. And so, I don't know, we're the only li liaison in between constituents and the senator. And so, it's, uh, that's why it's really important.